Oh, 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 oh! Can he do it? Can we survive? Oh, what is up the world? What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood shipwreck Van Dam, the God Pirate here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things. That's not very nice. Playing some more Atlas here at Booty Bay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to hang out with me. Do I have my deal? I do. Let's go ahead and wait four seconds. And then... We're flying over into the Booty Bay. The new community center looks unbelievable, amazing, and it is finished-ish. So there might be some little bits and bobs that we haven't sorted yet. But take a look, peeps. It really looks great. It's freaking unbelievable and amazing. Look how cool it is. Out into the bay. Look! The Frayed Knot is over here right now, and they're using the dock! This is so great! Because we made the dock so people could use the dock! And they're using the dock! They're docked at the dock! That's the point of the dock! That's very, very cool. But check it out, peeps. It's definitely interesting. I feel like maybe the towers turned out a little bit too wide in, in relation to the actual build that's up there. But, hey, it is what it is. We didn't build them too tall, so that's good. Um, they're a little too wide, but they are what they are. And, um, yeah, when you walk up in here now, if you walk up slowly, I mean, I feel like it looks really good. I feel like it looks really, really cool. If you like it, smash the thumbs up button. We've been working hard on it. Big thanks to everybody in the Booty Barnacles community for helping to do stuff and things. Hold on. Let's get a, a big zoom out here. Dude, look at it. Impressive. Impressive stuff and things are happening. How far out can we go? Dude, that looks pretty cool, man. Right there. That's probably the thumbnail. I don't even know yet. I haven't chosen it. But yes, it's looking unbelievable and amazing and so great. So yeah, if you like the video you see today, smash the thumbs up button. If you're new and you like what you see and you want to see more, subscribe for more stuff and things. And uh, yeah, so this is me. I mean, I don't know if it, I want it to be done done. Um... But it's definitely looking really good. Now, there's still a lot of work to be done. I mean, I feel like on the back area here, we can kind of spiffy this up a little bit and make it look a little bit different and better. But the interiors are great. The ceilings are great. Uh, this was built by myself and the community helping with the resources. And Saboa, one of our community members, did a lot of the roof designs. It's very cathedral-like. And it looks freaking great, man. I love it. So um, today, just to let you know, I actually spent way longer this morning than I would than I had planned um, doing a bunch of admin stuff and um, just kind of chatting in the Discord and figuring out some stuff and things with people and trying to fix some stuff and things. We're having some problems with the admins, uh, the admin settings and the, the stuff that goes on inside of here. We're trying to um, get our group management set up the right way. So we were having some issues and it was causing some existing structures to have problems. If you change the, the rank settings on stuff, it makes it so some of the building rank settings change like company activation rank two, like that right there. See this guy, because we've made some changes to the rank settings, if we change them back, so company activation rank two, right? That's for me because I placed it. So if I go into the captains and then activation structure rank, if I set this to zero and then zero, and then I apply that and then I close out of here, it still sets it for rank two. Hmm, that's not cool. So then that way, I don't have any way to change all these ranks once I've ranked them up. Unless it changes that, like, startup or something like that. I don't really know. So I think we're going to change those to new structure activation rank should be zero. And new structure active inventory rank and active rank should be zero and zero. All right. So, yeah. So um, we made a change. And then now, for instance, nobody in the company should be able to um, ever demolish any of these pieces. Which is fine. I mean, it doesn't make a difference here. But when we do it for, like, say, our quartermasters and we change their ranks to one and then they want to build a ship and then they build that ship and they put cannons on it, then no one can use the cannons. And the quartermasters that are non-admins are not able to um, change rank settings. So I can actually go into here and I can go into the company rank settings. I can change it back to zero if I'd like to. Uh, but only admins, I think, can do that. So it's kind of weird. There's really a lot of weirdness going on there. Um, all right, let's move on. Uh, I know that's maybe confusing for some people. Let's just talk about this build, man. Look at the... Ooh, is that placed wrong over there? That might be placed wrong. Um, the cathedral stuff and things are looking great. We built a walkway. Uh, it's not really a cathedral, but it kind of is looking like a cathedral. I think this guy is placed wrong up there. Eh, it is. 
I'll fix it at a later date for sure. They're a little bit backwards. You can walk over the little roofs over here. This isn't really an area for anything but just admiring. Um, and then you can pop down over this way, back down the ladder like so. And check it out. So we'll end up putting in here like our official storage, our official forges and looms and tanneries and stuff. I mean, we have some of them out here. Look at this guy. What are you doing? What are you doing, buddy? It's Dr. Strange Fruit walking ever so slowly. Dude, this is Baywatch moment. Booga booga boom. Booga booga boom. Booga booga boom. Booga 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 boom. Dude, look at him go. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, we're overheating. So, as I was saying before, I was so rudely interrupted by amazing Baywatch moment. We're going to get a little wet in here so then that way we're not quite so hot. Uh, but because I spent so much time this morning, I've kind of run out of time to do some recording. I really want to do a video for you guys. And I thought, what could I do that maybe wouldn't take up quite so much time but still be kind of cool? And I think that is continuing to show you some of the areas around here that people have done some pretty freaking great building. Um, now, over here, since Booty Bay, since we're building the community center, actually, overnight, this little tower got built over here. And it looks really cool. But we have to remember, as a community, we are asking that nobody builds in this Booty Bay area right here. We don't want any building here because we're trying to build the community centers and big buildings destroy frame rates. So uh, please, if you are in the Booty Barnacles, don't build in Booty Bay. We don't want you building over here. You're free to build uh, a big, super cool, humongous build if you want to, but just any other island, some other place, just not around here. Um, all right. So if we're going to do some exploring, I feel like it's been way too long. Uh, let's go over here and get wildfire. Now, I, I don't know. If, are these guys following? I don't think they are. Oh, yeah. We're on, baby. And here we go. Off on a little bit of a tour. So some of the buildings around here are kind of incomplete. And some of them are haphazard. Uh, one of our quartermasters, uh, Yen Lo Wang's house is right here. He's an Australian fellow. And I really like the look of it. It's very, very cool. We have some other smaller homes around here, but I think the piece, the resistance may be down, down the beach a little bit here. Um, this place is pretty cool. I like that little house right there. The BB butthead. Hmm. But yeah, a lot of these places are kind of incomplete. And yeah, I think that uh, Jack Chicken's a new person as well and didn't know, not supposed to build in this area. We really don't want any more building over here. So what I want to do first is head down the beach and show you a structure that's pretty rad. The thing is, is that a lot of times when we're hanging out, we're always showing you guys just the booty bay or just on a ship. And there's really a, a vibrant and alive community um, here with lots of structures and lots of stuff and things happening. Um, so down over here, uh, one of our members of the server called Shadow of My Former Self has built a base that's really kind of after my own heart. He did like an open concept base right here. You can see that Shadow of My Former Self steal. But he did like an open concept base. And it's very slip gatory. I really love this. He's also aligned some shipyards to his base. So it looks like a small shipyard and a large shipyard. And then you can see right there that we've got kind of like these really cool little uh, walkway areas that move down over into some circular uh, patios, maybe, I guess you could say. And there's not a huge amount of like, I don't know. You know, a lot of times I think people look at buildings and they want them to be built up like a big building and look amazing. Uh, but I really like these open concepts. They're better for server performance because you just don't have the walls. Um, and I just like the look of them. And they're very functional, too. Wait, is my gamma, like, redonkulous? No, this is regular gamma. Why don't I gamma 0.8? Oh, that's not okay. All right, gamma. So, um, yeah, I really like this deal. It looks really, really cool. Um, moving down the beach a little bit more. Let's have a look at some other structures that are here. And this is a really cool one. I actually haven't been down here for a couple of weeks. Uh, and this is Saboa's house. And it's really beautiful. The Scurvy Prevention Center. Look how freaking cool it is, man. Please do not pick crops unless you have higher hand harvesting skills. Dude, what? Crops can be picked at the farmhouse, place any seeds in fertilizer and or poo in the seed house. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, these are a, a lantern test that Saboa had set up for us to take a look at. The different colored lanterns and what they look like to see what ones we want to kind of use. And we got the flag over there. But look at this. It's just a nice little beautiful farm area. There's our chickpeas. Everything's labeled. Dude, I didn't even know you could grow cactuses. I didn't even know that was a thing. Do they hurt you if you stand on them? The Scurvy Prevention Center Seed House. Also, look what I noticed over here. Look at that. 
There's a tree inside the rock. I feel like one department's not talking to another department over there. So look, everything is labeled maize, rice. Are we lost in the maize but found in the corn? Haha, <laughs> get it? Uh, beans, wheat, cool whip, uh, peppers, chilies, and onions. Dude, this sounds making me hungry. And I love how, like, it's just like, I don't know. She did such a great job on it. It's so pretty and beautiful. Can we go inside? We're in her house. Don't tell anybody. All right. Let me pop up over here. Wow, man. It's super compact. What a cool idea. Just like super compact deal. Can you just walk across these? Eh, kind of, sort of. It was a little bit weird there. Look at this, man. And then it gives like, with having these, um, what are they even called again? Oh, yeah. The catwalks. With having the catwalks, it gives you like the open concept type deal. So it makes the place look a little bit more spaced up and spaced out. Oh, food storage stuff and things. More space for storage up here. Nice use of catwalks, the boo. Like so. And then wait, can we go upstairs? And then we're on the roof. Oh, somebody just pooped. Nope. I just want to, I just want to use the door. He's done it. Dude, this looks amazing. What a great area. And this isn't the only house. So Bo doesn't have just one house because this isn't really a house, right? This is the scurvy prevention center seed house. But over in a viscerally type direction, what do we have here? This is Saboa's chalet. And then this is the scurvy prevention center farmhouse. All right, we got multiple departments. Dude, what a great small and organized area. Very, very cool. This is like a roofed animal storage pen. So she's got her animals inside of here and then it's roofed out to make it look amazing. Yes, I said roofed. Milk, eggs, everything's labeled. Wow, man, I gotta say, Saboa's house in real life must be amazing and organized and beautiful. Oh, I love how the stone wall, this wall on the back is stone. Dude, this place is really well done and super small. The biggest thing that I'm noticing is the compactness. Like, it's just really efficient. Look, random door. <laughs> but look at all these areas here. What do we have up inside of here? Dude, can you even walk over here? I'm confused as to how this works. So there's the forge, and then what is that behind the forge? I don't think I can get back. Is that just the complete forge? Oh, yeah. So that's the forge. The forge is up in this area. I see now. Very interesting. And then over here, the chalet, which is like a modern art masterpiece. Look at this thing, man. So friggin' cool. Did you know that you could put signs on the floor? Look at the organizational structure. This is almost making me feel paranoid like I'm a bad builder. I'm not organized enough to friggin' live my life. I can't close this right now. I don't know why. Oh, well, I just logged in really quickly and I just hit the button. All right. So what do we want to check out next? Oh, the chalet. Here it comes. Look at this thing, man. It's so friggin' nice. This is really up my alley, man. This is exactly what like Slipgator building is all about. The kind of building structure that I enjoy. Uh, it's kind of modern. It's a Boa's chalet. Let's go inside. Oh my God, the chalet. Now, I don't know if we're really allowed. To show off what's going on. So if we... There she is. Don't, don't be quiet, guys. Because if we find out... She finds out we're here, we might have to run. I don't think she'll call the cops, though. I think we should be all right. All right, we can't get in here. Oh, it's good security. Oh, there's an open door. <gasps> we're in. The chalet. I feel like this place might be still under construction a little bit. Because there's not a lot of organization here. I'm assuming that she does huge amounts of work outside. Stuff and things. I mean, maybe not in here, but even like the little wall here with the door and all of this, it looks so good. I'm loving it. All right, hold on. We got to get on wildfire because we have another thing to show you guys. Another fairly impressive build that's been going on here. Let's grab wildfire. Let's head over into this really type direction. What time is it in the game? Crap. I think it's going to be night. We got to go. We got to go fast. So this is our taming team's unbelievable and amazing area. Let's go ahead and pop up over here so you can see what's going on. Dude, you guys, wait, this is not the taming team. Wait, what is this? This isn't the taming team's area, or it's one of their areas. I don't even know what or whose this is. No admittance, except on party business. Wow. What are we getting admitted to? Morgana Batasi. Oh, so it's like a personal dock system. This is a pretty cool little spot. I love how it out looks over the ocean. Dude, I like this. I thought this we were at the place, but we're not at the place. Now we're in the water. Now we're out of the water. Oh my God, this is an amazing build. 
It's like they knew that I, that would happen. It's like they knew that somebody would fall off, and then they just built this amazing thing. All right, so over here is what I'm trying to show you guys, and I'm hoping we can continue to have a little bit of frame rate over here. You don't see a lot of behemoth gates around, but check this out, guys. Wait, what? You're in my way. Stop it. Get out of here, stupid jerk. The doctor's ranch. I think this is for Dr. Phil's spot. Dude, what a place, man. Holy, what the crap? Dude, he's got freaking fuzzy Tyrannosaurus Rexosaurus. Look at these guys, man. I don't think I can ride them. I don't have the ability to ride these guys. I need the tier three, so I can't do it. Dude, he's got friggin'. It's a fuzzy Triceratops. That's so cool. And look at this area. It's just beautiful. And it's humongous. A couple of these amazing gates. Huge amounts of animal storage. And Dr. Phil and his team have been doing a lot of our taming. Look at this beautiful building right here. Just full of tames. Pangoon! Hello, Pangoon. What? You're so cute. That's why look at me. Oh, okay. He doesn't actually look that cute. He kind of looks weird. Kind of looks like maybe he's peeved off. Dude, do I have a light on me? <gasps> I don't. Okay. Uh, We got horses galore. Bears galore. Dude, is that a zebra? What the crap? Oh, he painted it. Oh, somebody's here. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm downstairs. Who, who goes there? Gregorian. Oh, hello. All right, just had a quick chat with Gregorian, one of our builder, builderizer people. And yeah, this place is crazy, man. So they have this really cool barn area right here. And then inside here, there's just a ton of building stuff and things. These guys have done an amazing job. This lever, I think, controls all their lights. Um, they have a huge docking area, kind of massive, <laughs> massively huge docking area. And there you can see their building is kind of suspended over there. There's also a platform that goes up top. And I'm not sure what they have going on up there. But some sort of other stuff and things are happening. But inside of here, man, uh, the interior is amazing. Lots of organized storage. We've got down inside of here. There's another door to get out. Uh, what's in... Wait, what are these guys? Oh, so each individual person has, like, has their own room. Dude, look at these guys. They're amazing. Got their own cool monkeys, their own cool parrots. Whose room is this? Slick's abode. You sleep in here? Whoa. I'm trapped! All right, hold on. Dude, am I here? Is this real life? Look at this! Fire frog! Ribbit! <laughs> if you guys watch the streams, you know who Fire Frog is. There's Fire Frog sleeping with her green parrot in there. Uh, and the bear den. I don't see any bears in here. That sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a bar of sorts. Um, so then if you pop up over here, look, they got this nice little area. They did such a good job on this. It just looks so invite. Oh, looks kind of inviting. They got chickens in a cage, and then it looks like oh, there's Gooey's bubble, dude. Gooey's bubble. He's not in there though. So this is really neat. Everybody's got their own room. The doctor's office. Oh my God, it's like a purple blue haven. What a beautiful area. You guys, I can't wait to do some building. I feel like we're going to have to build like a slip gator base. You know what I mean? We don't have that yet. I've been working on community stuff. I've been living on the boat. Um, and while I do love living on the boat, I do feel like a place to call my very own would be very, very cool as well. So, um, all right. Let's run back over this way. Um, real quickly, I also wanted to tell you those, uh, what are they? Mastercraft flintlocks? What's the yellow called in this one? Yeah, legendary. The legendary flintlocks, I lost them. Uh, was my whole issue with with the higher end uh, the higher end materials in this game is that if you do something weird or you make any sort of a mistake, they're just gone. Um, and so somebody needed some help on the server, and I went ahead and fast traveled really quickly. I completely cleaned out my inventory except for my my hot bar, and my hot bar dropped, and then I I uh, actually fast traveled back really quickly, and they were gone. They were they were not there. So I lost my legendary flintlock, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, these areas are looking cool. It looks like there's some under construction stuff and things. But I want to give you the flintlock update. Just so you, you know, I feel like drop on death is uh, pretty... I think you should keep your hot bar in this game. And, um, and yeah, I wanted you guys to know why I didn't have them anymore. So, it looks like this is probably about the end of the community area. Oh, pardon me. Uh, about the end of the community area. There are some nice builds spread out. I love that everybody kind of spread out and did things on their own. Um, there are some buildings up above. 
on the cliff sides above us. And um, there's some pretty cool stuff up there as well. But we're going to head back over to the Booty Bay area right now. And uh, just see about a couple of things real quick. And I'll BRB, Pete. So I was having a look around. Oh, yeah. It's far down there, man. Look at the spaghetti that they've built in order to get up here. It's so cool. But check out our lighthouse, man. It got dyed blue. It looks so good. Uh, let's turn our light on real quick. But up in this area, I noticed there's some pretty crazy stuff and things going on, man. Some pretty cool builds up around here, too. I'm sure there's more. And I'm not trying to, like, uh, miss anybody's stuff. So I know there's a lot of community members that are working really hard. But look at this place over here, man. Got a sexy bear. A little sexy bear action going on over there. Dude, this place is like a maze. And then it looks like over here we have some house action. World's longest stairways. You'd need them around here, though. So much freaking elevation change. Dude, look at this, man. Look at inside of here. What a nice little place. Was it raining? Yeah, got a nice little place here. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to, uh, leave his doors open. Looks like it's raining now. Uh, let's pop down over here because I saw this was, like, the world's largest staircase. But look at these guys, man. They built these really cool, like, kind of, like, cliffside buildings, which just really looks great pop over here. Let's go up the world's largest stairway. Like so. This is kind of freaky, man. Oh. Oh my god. Alright, up here. We have a nice little house deal right there. Looks like some more platforms for support. Dude, this thing is massive! Holy crap, whose deal is this? What is that? A hole down into the, into the basement area? The front there, it looks like a couple of forges. Kentucky Clifftop Retreat. <laughs> so it gets a little, it's a little boxy on the inside. Whoa, dude, he's got a sub basement. Dude, this is like a, they, dude, this is just like a house from like a, yeah, the Kentucky maybe. When we were looking at places when we were in uh, Nashville, they all had these sub basements like this. It was like a crawl space. Uh, can we get like so? Can we climb up? I can't climb up. Is there a reason why I can't climb up? There we go. All right, we're up. But this thing looks cool. Looks really like they really did a really great job on it. You got chickens for days, chicken eggs coming in. Oh my gosh, what an amazing place. It goes up even higher, but I don't think we can get out. You know what we got to do, ladies and gentlemen? Let's equip this bad boy right here. Three, two, one. Oh... Oh, 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 can he do it? Can we survive? Yeah, woohoo! That was epic, man. That was so cool. Oh, 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 oh. Crap. Oh, dude, I landed on the tower. Lol. Get him, get him, peep. Nice, very, very cool. So, uh, let me go ahead and pop my guy off like this. And then, where did I leave Wildfire? I left Wildfire down here somewhere. But ladies and gentlemen, it is getting a little bit dark out. But that's going to be it for this episode. I know it's a little bit shorter. Like I said, I was really pressed for time today. But thought it would be cool for you guys to see stuff and things that the community members are doing and getting a better idea of what Booty Bay looks like as a whole rather than just like the front area here. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure if you like the video... Smash the thumbs up button. If you had fun, don't forget to subscribe for more. We'll see you in the next episode. And may the stuff and things be with you.